Hey, it's Paul from my little home studio. I thought we'd answer some of your questions in addition to the ones that are normally running that I had done about three weeks ago. So we're going to keep those going because there's lots of great questions and we'll try a few from, from here. It's not quite live. By the way, I've been thinking about doing a live Ask Paul. I don't know. I'm, I'm going to try and figure out technically how to do it and we'll do it from right here if, if, I, can, if I can figure it out. All right. Today's question is PCBs versus direct point-to-point -point wiring. And the question comes from Plebus in Alabama. Alabama. Hey Paul, I've always been under the impression that the only real advantage to printed circuit boards is cost effectiveness and that in terms of sound quality, well executed point to point wiring would always be the better options. Yet PCBs seem to predominate even high end audio manufacturers like yourself. Why is that? Well, okay. Truly, I think I would have to agree with Plebus in that point to point wiring is clearly better than a printed circuit board because we know that wire makes a difference. And when we compare little thin traces of copper versus an actual wire and hard soldered connection on each side, I think definitely that point to point wiring as they used to do back in the day of vacuum tubes. Like, I mean, I remember, oh gosh, what did I have? Was it an old receiver? Maybe an old Marantz receiver was point to point. Maybe not. I don't remember, but I had something that was point to point wired and it was beautifully done. It was handcrafted. And yeah, that's a lot more expensive, a lot more prone to mistakes by the person wiring it. But I think given the state of what audio equipment has become today that point to point wiring would be almost impossible. I mean, think about it. If you look inside the average, well, take a DAC, a preamp, a, uh, a power amp, almost everything in there has some kind of small electronics. Maybe it's a surface mount resistor. Maybe it's a integrated circuit. I mean, even inside of our power amplifiers, we have little microprocessors. So there's no way you would ever point to point wire one of those. Just ain't ever going to happen. And a DAC, forget it. There's a couple of million connections, you know, on a chip, well, hundreds on a chip that big. So it's just not going to happen. Could you do certain areas? Yeah. And, and we do. So the big power supply areas, we do point to point wiring. We use heavy wire in our connectors. So we do the best we can, but at the end of the day, I think printed circuit boards and their little tiny thin traces, they are here to stay. Oh, and that, by the way, <laughs> is my notice that in 15 minutes I have a daily engineering Zoom meeting. Used to be I would just walk outside my office, stand with the crew, and we would all talk, and now I have to go do this, right? And just instead of talking to you, <laughs> I'm going to go onto my computer and do a stand-up meeting on a Zoom video chat. It'll get better. It'll be over at some point. And though nothing will be the same as before it started, this I predict, it's not ever going to be the same. It will come out to where we'll be better at the end of the day. I promise. Okay. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye.